I could make an exact replica of the trench club from Battlefield 1, uh, but to follow those steps, I would basically just be making Dan's Kanabo again, which is really cool and everything, and you should totally watch the video and stuff, but I want to add my own spices. I want to give it my own flavor. So today we're going to be making... Uh, What's like, uh, what's like World War One, but like part two? Mm. Today we'll be making the uh, World War One Trench Club 2.0. So here's what we got to work with. We've got the $6 shovel from the hardware store. Even though it's very cheap, the handle is made of ash, which probably a coincidence is very good for making handles out of. I don't know how it found its way onto that shovel. It's just one of those miracles of nature, I guess. We've got three of these bushings. This is some sort of plumbing fixture. And then a cap. This is also a plumbing thing. All these things are inch and a quarter. We've got a couple of 12 inch nails. I cut the heads off because these are the ones that I was shooting out of the spike spitter. Got some string and we'll probably be using some of Harambe's finest as well. So first we're gonna cut the handle whatever length you want the club to be. If you want to keep it authentic, go ahead and keep it under maybe 18 or 16 inches. I've seen some online that look like they were 12 inches. This thing's gonna be pretty heavy, so even at 12 inches you're definitely gonna be able to do some damage with it. I'm gonna go with 15 inches. <laughs> That should be just about pretty good. Now we're gonna clean the goo off of these bushings in this cap. I'm gonna be using some of these oil wipes. All right, that's just about all of it. This stuff I don't even think is the oil because I can't even scratch it off with my finger. I don't know, as long as it doesn't mess with the epoxy, it should be fine. So the string comes into play because these bushings are actually just barely too big to screw onto here. So we're gonna be wrapping some of the string around here, very thin layer because it's just barely too big. And this should hopefully allow for these things to screw on. So I'll need about that much covered. I'm gonna first attach the string with some of this contact cement. Then while that's becoming tacky, I have to pull out one of these strands because I did a little test earlier and three strands is just barely too thick. Two strands should do the trick. All right, now I can start to wrap it. Ow, my hand. Oh man, that'd be awesome if I had a lathe right now. Alright, so my hope is that this epoxy will act a little bit as a lube and actually help the bushings to screw on there. Wow, it's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. Alright, gotta work kinda fast. Oh boy, this might be tough. Uh oh, <laughs> the strings are kind of exploding under there. Jeez, this is getting messy. Jeez. Oh, oh man, this is kind of falling apart, huh? Uh, I think we can salvage it. Come on, we can save it, we can save it. Ah, oh, this is getting so ugly, dude. Come on. No! Oh, dude, this is the worst. <laughs> Did we save it? I think we might have saved it. All right, get these things angled how you want because once this epoxy sets, it is not unsetting. All right, now I'm gonna let that set overnight. 
All right, this thing's plenty deadly enough as it is right now, but if you ever get the option to add spikes to something, why would you not? So I'm gonna drill some three eighth inch holes through here. I can't really think of a way to put spikes going in both directions without really, really weakening this part right here. So I'm gonna make the spikes coming out of two directions and then I'm gonna shape the handle so your edge alignment is really easy. So let's drill it out. I spend all my weekends sleeping on the floor And I can't wake up early anymore Maybe I'm too busy playing with my memory all right, now this is an inch and three quarters wide, so I'm gonna cut out three spikes that are three inches and three quarters long. In the process of shaping the handle, I did remove the clear coat, so I might as well go ahead and stain it. But before I do that, I'm gonna tape up the handle and I'm going to paint the head because I know these nails at least go rusty pretty quick. And that'll prevent it from rusting. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and then once that's dry, I'm gonna give it a clear coat too. This looks cool as heck already, but I still have the staining to do, so I'm gonna take this tape off. Oh, not just the staining, I also have to put a hole through here so I can put a lanyard on it. Dang it, this thing's so cool, I just want it to be done already.
All right, now we finally get to stain it. I'm using Red Oak uh, 2115, because it's probably my most vintage looking stain. Then just treat it like it's a banana, and this is some chocolate sauce. Probably the weirdest comparison I've ever made. I, I'm sorry, I, prob I'll, I'll, I won't do that again. All right, now I gotta wait like 15 minutes and then wipe the excess off. All right, now wipe off what you can. I think I might have left it on too long. Then I'll probably do about three clear coats on the wood. And finally, a piece of paracord for a lanyard so that if you swing it and accidentally let it go, it will absolutely come back and hit you in the elbow because you deserve it, you sick animal. Now we're gonna smash some pumpkins. privilege now pumpkins all right guys hope you enjoyed this video my next video should be my collab with the hacksmith where i make the brain blender you guys get to see what the heck that is pretty soon unless you're not subscribed and you accidentally miss it by the way guys my own personal unbiased opinion about uh my own channel 10 out of 10 five stars two thumbs up you should definitely subscribe and also oh my gosh all of you guys who saw my last video and took compassion on me and whitelisted me on adblock like serious it's been like one week and it's already helped me out so much. Like seriously guys, thank you so much. Looking forward to the next video, but that's about all I got for today. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Where did I go?